let's first add the indicator to the chart. Head over to the indicator. Search tab and search for the machine. Learning Lorentzian classification. Indicator, select the indicator. Made by J.D. Horty, the indicator is based on the Lorentzian distance classifier or LDC. It's important that we first understand how the indicator works so that we can use it to its full potential. The Lorentzian distance classifier is a mathematical tool used to measure how similar or different two things are. It works by comparing the shapes of two Lorentzian curves and calculating the distance between them. Think of it as comparing two songs and seeing how different their sound waves are. This method is often used in signal processing and data analysis to help identify patterns or differences in complex data sets. The indicator we just added to the chart demonstrates how Lorentzian classification can also be used to predict the direction of future price movements when used as the distance metric for a novel implementation of an approximate nearest neighbor's algorithm. Even though this may seem a bit complicated, the indicator is actually really easy to use. So let's go over how we can read the indicator. The first feature you might have noticed is the numbers that are plotted below every candle. The numbers at plots range from 8 o'clock to dash 8. These numbers represent the categories the model assigns to each candlestick. Simply said, the more positive the number is, the more bullish the sentiment is, and the more negative a number is, the more bearish the sentiment is. A large sequence of these numbers can help with identifying the strength of the trend. The second feature of the indicator is the kernel regression line. This line is estimated based on the kernel regression. It can be seen as an extra confirmation to confirm the predictions that the machine learning model provides. The third, along with this we will need for the kernel line to be green once a bullish signal is printed we will enter into the position we will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low then we will exit the position once the kernel line switches colors and becomes red showing us that the bullish period has ended and that the trend is switching as you can see, this occurs here, so let's exit the position here. The strategy is already extremely profitable. However, there is still one thing it doesn't consider, which is the larger trend. As you can see here, we are in a large downtrend. Despite this, the indicator provided a buy signal to avoid these signals that go against. The greater trend, let's add one more indicator to the chart and create a full strategy with the indicator. Head over to the indicator search tab and search for the RSI indicator. Select the indicator made by trading. View and add it to the chart. After that, head over to the RSI indicator. Settings. Since we are currently on the one hour chart and want to get a larger view of the trend, let's change the RSI time frame to the four hour chart. Now let's change the style settings of the indicator to make it more visible. We will first be changing the color of the line, after that we will be unchecking the elements of the indicator that we won't be using, that was all that we needed to do. Now let's take a look at when we will enter into a position with this strategy. To enter into a buy position, we will need four the following conditions to be met. 
Firstly, we will need for both the candlestick and kernel line to be green, indicating that we are currently in an uptrend. Along with this, we will also need for the price to be trading above the kernel line, confirming the bullish market sentiment. Next, the Lorentzian classification indicator should print a buy signal. This is indicated by the green envelope, which signifies that there is a high probability of an upward price movement. To confirm that, the larger trend is also bullish, the RSI line should be above the middle line, which has a value of 50. When the RSI is above 50, it indicates that buyers are in control of the market, showing us that the greater market sentiment is indeed bullish. Once all the indicators are aligned, we can enter the position as soon as the candlestick on which the buy signal was provided closes. To manage risk, we will be placing the stop loss at the kernel line which acts as a dynamic stop loss. However, if the kernel line is too close to the price action, the most recent swing low can be used as the stop loss instead. The take profit target is set at least 1.5 times the risk to reward ratio for 50% of the position, meaning that we want to at least make 1.5 times the stop loss. Once this target is reached, the stop loss is moved to break even and we will exit with the remaining 50% of the position. Once the kernel line switches back to red, the break even point means that we will no longer be risking any capital that we can see here that the take profit target was met. This means that we will now move the stop loss to break even and exit with 50% of the position with the stop loss moved to break even. We will exit the position once the kernel line switches to red. As you can see, the kernel line switched to red here, meaning that we will now exit the position with the remaining 50%. To enter into a sell position, we will first need for both the candlestick and kernel line to be red, indicating that we are currently in a downtrend. Along with this, we will also need for the price to be trading below the kernel line. Secondly, we will need the Lorentzian classification indicator to print a sell signal. We can see that this happened here. Because of the sell envelope. 2. Confirm that the larger trend is also currently bearish, the RSI line will need to be trading below the middle line. This means that the RSI needs to have a value smaller than 50. As you can see, this is the case here. We will enter into the position as soon as. The candlestick on which the sell signal was provided closes. We will be placing the stop loss at the kernel line, using it as a dynamic stop loss. However, if the kernel line is too close to the price action, we will be using the most recent swing high as the stop loss. For the take profit, we will be targeting at least a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio for 50% of the position. Once this target has been reached, we will move the stop loss to break even and exit with the rest once the call. On the line switches back to green. As you can see here, the take profit has been met. This means that we can now move the stop loss to break even. We will now exit with the rest of the position once the kernel line. Kernel line turned green, this means that we will exit the position here. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new about these new machine learning indicators. Keep in mind that the strategy is to showcase different ways of using the Lorentzian 
classification indicator. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.